hey, everybody, we're doing a new thing. We're doing the rewind reel. So we <laughs> episode. <laughs> We handpicked this episode because we thought that there was tremendous value. Check it out. Re-listen. It's always good to sharpen the what? The rewind wheel. The brain. The sword. What, what? <laughs> okay. You just hammered. Oh, okay. What you said. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, the, it's the final uh, one of our faves. The final fave. Final fave, the fabulous final fave. Who is it, Mr. Jason? Yeah. It is one of my favorite brothers from another mother's, Mr. David Carruthers. Oh, man. We've had him on two times now, and we've been on his podcast, the Power Producers podcast, which is phenomenal. Yes. He has transformed the way that people do commercial, and a lot of those yeah. strategies apply in any business, really, at the end of the day, uh, but certainly in the PNC world um, or in health or, or anywhere, right? It's 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 really focused on niching down, finding that that perfect client, and then marketing to them to get them in the door, and then you can ascend them to different products. Yeah, so there's two parts to that, right? Uh, one is the ultimate funnel that pays him to get clients, right? right. And then... There's the other part where he nurtures his, his hiring, his hiring funnel. Oh, is it's amazing. Just fire. People like him think differently. These are the type of people that any business owner should be around. Talk about the top five, you know, you, you're, you are the, you know, five people that you hang yeah. out with. This is, if, if you put together a perfect five person to hang out with, he would be in that top five. hundred percent. One hundred percent. As you're late in bed at night, try to figure out how to drive more activity to your agency. If you could think, figure out a way that you could make those leads pay, if you could have those leads pay for themselves, you're you've won a you've hit a uh, winning jackpot. A winning jackpot. That's says right, Mr. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. So let's, before I say anything else that doesn't make any sense, let's dive into this episode. Into this pot of gold. <laughs> let's dive in. <laughs> Bye. Buckle up. It's the Insurance Dudes Podcast. Flew down from Tampa to Birmingham on the Southwest nonstop for an hour. Had lunch with him, turned around, flew back, quit my job, loaded up my F-150 and moved to Tampa to sell insurance. Um, Dang. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I, um, you know, I, I didn't have any experience. It was a lot of uh, roadblocks for me getting hired somewhere. You know, they kind of like you to be licensed and all that. So I got my license. Uh, and in the evenings, I was working as a project manager for a pool construction company before the market tank. This is back in 04. And uh, got licensed and then immediately went back to all the neighborhoods where we were building pools and wrote all the subcontractors. So I looked like a superstar for the agency that I was working with at the time. Then I moved upstream a little bit. The guy who, who talked me into going into the industry, uh, his non-compete was up from the sale of his other, other firm. And he, he opened up and I was one of the first producers they brought in. And that, I just got into middle market production at that point. And the rest is history. Accounts that are between two hundred fifty and five hundred thousand dollars in premium, because I found that you're dealing with a a buyer who understands your role in the in the whole process, and there's less service work uh, involved with accounts like that. They're also more sticky because uh, people aren't going to shop on price all the time, and so you know we that that's where we really play. That's where our value proposition is is the most valuable. So. Agency started in 2016 and we ended 2019 and just a hair north of 3 million in revenue. So it's also good that you can scale quickly when you're dealing with an average account size like that, because you don't have to have a ton of accounts. What are you doing for marketing? Like, like that's definitely from what Craig and I do. We're, we're picking up the pennies off the ground. H how do you chase uh, big accounts like that? Yeah. So, I mean, anytime anybody asks me that, especially with producers, let me back up for a second, because I think there's an important caveat to my agency that everybody needs to know. And then I'll answer the question about marketing, because it's it sort of ties in together. Sure. I don't hire anybody at all from the insurance industry. 
every producer that I have came from outside the industry. I do not want retreads. I want professional salespeople. I want people to get up and drink blood for breakfast, put on a helmet, ram it against the door until they get in, close the business by clubbing something, dragging it back to the cave, and then we take care of it. That's what I'm looking for. What I found in this industry is that you have people who are technicians and people who are salespeople. Very, very rarely do you have a hybrid. The technicians are awesome at coverage and they should stay at a desk in the dark away from the client because they talk themselves <laughs> out of more deals than they close. Yes. Right. The salespeople are, are the walking E&Os that everybody's worried about because they'll do it. They'll <laughs> promise anything to, to get a deal done. But, but I do that intentionally because of the number of places that I interviewed that told me no, that didn't believe in me as the person. It didn't believe that I had the backbone or the fortitude to be successful. And so I, I really decided when I was launching the agency, I wanted to give those people that wanted out from where they were a chance to come into an awesome industry and be able to earn a great living in the process. So when I bring them in, one of the things that I tell them is when you're going to sell in this game, if you're going to market in this game, it's no different than baseball. You have to be a five tool player. There's not any one tool that you can have that can bring your game up to the level that it needs to be to be successful in the middle market. And these guys are coming in the door with Rolodexes of hundreds of people from where they were selling because I'm hiring business to business salespeople. And that's a whole mm -hmm. conversation for a different day because my philosophy on how I go about hiring these people and bringing them in the door is just nuts. Most people, again, they would short circuit if they, they listen to that process. I actually just did a talk, a workshop at, a, at an event out in San Diego a couple of weeks ago that that was the talk for an hour was how I bring people in from outside the industry and I fund them before they ever walk in the door. So I have zero financial risk and all my producers are validated before their first day. So it's pretty cool credit card processing. I mean, any of them, think about it. They're, they're all over the place, right? And these are the people that have really crappy jobs, right? They're going around, they're beating the crap, beating up on, on doors to get into places. My, my top producer is a guy that uh, worked for Quill selling office supplies. He had to go to 50 places a day, cold calling, trying to pimp out uh, copy paper to a secretary that had no interest in seeing him. I bring him into this environment and the dude is just in heaven because you make way more money and you work, you don't have to work nearly as hard. But what I do is I, uh, I, I identify these people. I meet them for a cup of coffee. We talk back and forth and we set up a formal referral relationship with each other where I manage it just like I would manage my business, meaning that we'll meet every couple of weeks, whether it's every other week or once a month or whatever uh, for coffee. But when you come to the meeting, I'm going to bring you to booked appointments with people that I can take you into and I expect you to do the same. After going through that process for about three months, I know whether or not this person's really going to be successful in commercial insurance. So I plant the seed with them and basically just say, you know, why are, why are you doing this? Have you ever thought about doing something different, maybe with some residual income or whatever else? Because it makes doesn't make any sense. You work as hard as you do. You close as many deals as you do, but you don't have the ability to, to, to capitalize on that. And I leave it at that. And usually within 24 hours, I get the phone call, right? And the, asking me, well, what are you talking about? You know, did you mean wow. go into your industry or whatever else? And so that becomes a much more formal conversation at that point. But essentially what I do is I, I pitch it to them. I said, look, you guys, tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. I can get you what you need, but you're going to have to earn what you want. So let's talk about what it would take for you to make a transition from where you're at to coming over and working with my firm. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100000 in premium off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will – it's live – and it will show you the process, the entire process. Mm, Super awesome. Mm, I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now, live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live.teledudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 
5219. That's 520-214-2219. Nice. I'm Greg, are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure. Live. I'm into it too. It's going to be well, awesome. And it's a it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content and free um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right. The calling calculator, sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents. This is it. It's the best texting community out there for insurance agents. Well, what the heck is that number again? I can't remember it. It's 520-214-2219. That's 520-214-2219. I love it. I'm going to text it right now. 520-214-2219. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Hey, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, All right.